Hi, David Wick, and today I'm going to teach you a simple way that you can begin to strengthen your feet very inexpensive. You go to your local hardware store, that's where we are. You're going to get cylinders. You start with soft. So this thing right here, you find this in the plumbing section, it's soft and it has a yield. That's going to be your easiest. Then you're going to go diameters. The bigger the diameter, the easier it will be on your feet. So here's how it works in your body. When you step on something that hurts your feet, it makes tension rise up because you want to get off of it. So it's a compensation in the upper body for pain or weakness in the feet. And so, ah, like that, now I can't drop my weight, I can't be athletic. And even if you're not perceiving that effect in your body, that's actually what's happening when the foot can't do the job that it should be doing. So here's how you do it. You progressively train them. Start with that lateral arch, that needy spot, and go on the outside first. This thing's great because I can just smash it down. It's going to yield, and I just go to a fresh section on the tube and just do it. You want to spread the toes best you can because when you're pushing down on that and your feet are weak, it's going to make your toes curl. So where you'll come down and you'll come, and it'll make your toes do that. So you want to actively fight against that spread and extend the toes, and you get that outside. Now we do the transverse. That's this section here. Be real easy, especially as you get down here. It might hurt a lot. You can do it seated if necessary. And then the last one is this side, that big medial arch, where we're going to just turn it on an angle and roll that out. Basically, the direction that you want to move is this way more than that way. This way is taking slack out of the foot. This way, we can encourage slack, so emphasize that direction of the roll. So now, we come to a bigger diameter. You can actually stand on this, do a little bit of that lumberjack log rolling. Make sure you hold on it first. So whatever you need to, hold on to something. A door jam works really well. Hold on to Make sure you can put your weight on it without collapsing the foot. If you have to, you begin seated, and you can just walk it, just like this. Eventually, you can develop the balance to literally like turn it and walk it, just like that lumberjack. I like to do it when I'm watching television. You know, when I'm doing something else, I just sit there and roll my feet while I'm watching the show or something like that, watching the football game. Now, when we progress to here and to here, to here, we're progressively getting more and more wicked. This one will really hurt. If this one's on a hard surface, like a wood floor, ooh, putting full weight on that's gonna really, really hurt unless you're strong. So, when we put that down, that, to be able to commit full weight to it, watch my whole body. So, look up, see how relaxed I am? And I'm putting full weight on that, I'm putting full weight. I couldn't do that in the beginning. But because I do this often and frequently, my feet don't hurt basically whatever I'm stepping on. It just can't be sharp. And now the rest of my body can be completely relaxed because my feet, the base, is strong. And that's the whole idea. The stronger your feet, the more reserve you have through the rest of your body, the less tension you'll carry. So it's a very important thing to do. I advise you to do it. As simple as going to your hardware store, get this cheap gear, 10 or 20 bucks, and you can get started. Let me know how it works for you. Follow us at WECMethod. Visit WECMethod.com.